I wasn't expecting to hear the news so quickly. Anthony sits at a kitchen table talking with his two children and wife. I was playing football, right by the age of 51, uh, but still very mobile, still very fit. We see pictures of his family. Um, I'm Anthony Walsh. Um, I'm married with a wonderful wife and two beautiful children. And as of May this year, I was diagnosed with MND. Anthony, who is in a wheelchair, moves through his house. Even at the time when I was given the diagnosis, I still couldn't truly believe that it was MND. From playing football to being in a wheelchair within three months. Anthony's son kicks a football in the garden. It's been very, very hard to, to, to cope with, really, because it means that I've lost my mobility. I have to be dependent on others. Anthony's wife pours a glass of water and brings it to Anthony. Which is not the sort of person I was. I was very, very independent. I'm very, very fortunate, you know, that I have such a wonderful family, uh, some, some very loving friends and a support network. I mean, I'm one of eight children, so each individual is impacted by this disease in different ways. And you don't know whether you're one of the luckier ones where the, 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 the prognosis is going to be a longer term. It's, um, it's a tough illness to deal with. And the only thing that we can do is to stay positive and find solutions to everything that is thrown at you. Toyota Great Britain and the Motor Neuron Disease Association have been working together to test a prototype human support robot. The Toyota HSR robot moves through a laboratory. HSR is a service robot that can assist people uh, at home as well as in working environments. The Toyota HSR is equipped with a wide variety of cameras and sensors. The Toyota HSR picks up a mug. It can grab objects, and it can interact with humans, it can navigate in human environments. King's College London student Victor takes the mug from the robot. Our lab received this robot from Toyota Europe uh, in order to do research. Victor is seen using his laptop. Our research focuses on the development of algorithms for enabling HSR to learn how to interact um, and also how to perceive humans. This will be the first time the HSR is tested in a UK home setting. It, it just makes me feel great because I can see the robot perform and, and through that I feel like I am helping people. Victor packs away the Toyota HSR. The robot introduces itself to the family in their home. Hello everyone. But the difference is, is that people have got to live their lives around you. Victor is seen controlling the robot. Until you're actually um, faced with certain situations, it, you, you don't really think about them. The robot grabs juice from the fridge and passes it to Anthony. <laughs> but things like reaching to pick up uh, tissues, open the fridge and get something from the shelf, it gives you back a little bit of your independence. It would actually free up time for other people to to not always be at your beck and call and uh, to have some of their own time back, you know. It can relieve a lot of stress in the, uh, in the family situation, really. The Toyota HSR picks up a remote control. There's always room for technology going forward that can help further. HSR hands Anthony's son some tissues. Particularly for people that maybe don't have the same support network as I do. That I think could be a, a, a place where this robot could come in, where it could actually be there to, to sort of help people in, in different ways with their day-to-day -day life. Can it sing? Can I don't know, can it sing? There's a possibility uh, that I might lose my voice. Richard from the MNDA, he came down and um, done the voice banking with me. <laughs> Which is amazing because the fear is, is that uh, at some point or another, I may or may not lose my voice. To have that peace of mind that your voice has been saved. HSR spins on the spot. It can definitely, it can definitely sing. sing. <laughs> the, the children will be hearing my voice, even if the worst should happen. You want to send your own message to yourself? Yes. Yeah? What would you say? Certainly you're a good boy. Um, my, my hopes for the future is that they find a cure for MND. Anthony is seen laughing with his children at the table. 
and you know that nobody has to go through and, and suffer this disease, you know, ever again. You know, that, that that's the ultimate. Um, and I do hope. I, I still live in hope. I've got a positive attitude, to what I said. And no matter what's thrown at you, just get up and fight. I fight for my children every day. Um, that keeps me positive because I'm not ready to give up on them. King's College London and the Motor Neurone Disease Association will work on research to improve the lives of people living with motor neurone disease. To learn more about supporting the Motor Neurone Disease Association, visit www.mndassociation.org.